Welcome to Jamarki News for Monday, January 23rd. I'm your host, Jay Osterholm. In preparation for this year's Super Bowl, host city Indianapolis has turned to social networking to accommodate the influx of the expected 150,000 fans. Marketing agency Radius was hired to manage a social media command center and monitor fan conversation via Facebook, Twitter, and other platforms. Using advanced search tools and analytics, the center will be able to pick up on specific keywords and respond with helpful tweets and the like. They will aim to answer questions regarding parking, sightseeing, dining, and other tourism-related concerns. The Super Bowl host committee hopes that the Social Media Command Center will innovate event management. The capability of today's social media platforms allow event coordinators to efficiently react to the concerns of more people than ever before. It will be interesting to see how event management itself evolves as more sponsors realize its benefits. The White House administration plans to further explore how effective social media is in connecting with America. President Obama announced that he will be participating in a Google Plus Hangout after this year's State of the Union address. How exciting. The president has experimented with social media interactions before. After the last two State of the Unions, addresses, he posted YouTube videos to respond to previously submitted questions. This year, he will interact directly with a select few people through the Hangouts multi-person video chat. Should be interesting. Although Republican presidential candidates Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich have hosted Google Plus Hangouts, it is the first time that people will be able to interact with the president directly. President Obama has proved himself to be well-versed in social media and is unafraid to use it directly to communicate with the people. We are interested to see whether his upfront tactics pay off come November. Action. The co-CEOs of BlackBerry Maker Research in Motion, otherwise known as RIM, announced their resignations on Sunday. Both Jim Basile and Mike Lazaridis will remain members of the company's board, but felt the time had come to, quote, pass the baton of leadership. Even though RIM has lost over $60 billion in market value over the past few years, new CEO Thorsten Hines thinks there's no need for a drastic change, and he will keep the company moving in the same direction. He will be counting on the upcoming release of BlackBerry 10 software to save RIM, a release which has already been delayed. Heinz's decision could avoid change and could prove costly. RIM is barely surviving in a market where Apple and Android rule through constant innovation. Hopefully, the BlackBerry 10 gives RIM the competitive edge they need to get back in the game. 